yeah, don't start filming yet. I just want to sort of pump myself up for the camera, kind of look nice and hench. Just yeah, I'll, t I'll let you know when I'm ready. Let's have a look at myself in the mirror. Welcome to Making the Album Part Two. Now this, uh, we're going to have a little look at lyrics. Now, I've got a little confession to make. We don't actually write our own lyrics. In fact, the three of us are nigh on illiterate. Uh, Matt can't write, uh, Peter can't read, and I can't speak. So we actually hire our own lyricist, and I thought I'd um, introduce you to him. Is he recording? Uh, okay, okay, fine. Hi, I'm uh, Chris from Cockshaft. I'm a lyricist, and uh, Immortal Machinery <laughs> approached me to do the lyrics for their new album. I, uh, normally I, I do sort of pop music, R&B, soul, gospel, that sort of thing. I've uh, done a little bit of uh, grime for the, for the young people in London. Uh, yes, uh, Stormzy, good friend of mine. But uh, yes, I thought I'd sink my teeth into something a little darker. Very miserable little chap, was this uh, Steph or whatever he calls himself, foreign chap, yes. yes. Um, I don't know what I thought of them. I mean, I like the colour of their money. You know, the Queen's on it and all that. It's jolly good. But uh, he said he wanted me to write about death and sad things. And I thought, ooh, goody, I'll write about my boarding school days. And uh, apparently that's not what, quite what he wanted. So we'll see. We'll see. So, how did I find it? I mean, I did try and be edgy, shall we say. I drew, a, drew upon a few experiences of my own. I, uh, I did smoke a cigarette in year eight, so I thought I'd bring some of those more rebellious influences to the music. And, uh, I mean, you know, Steph said he wanted sadness and pathos. I mean, well, what can I say? The time that my father halved my allowance. I mean, £250 a week when you're 16. I mean, that's a pittance, isn't it? I, I really sunk to the depths of poverty. So I thought, you know what, I, I've been there, you know. I might not be this rocker, but I've been there. I've seen the pain. Yes, well, they were an interesting bunch, I'll say that much. I mean, the, uh, the curly-haired one, uh, Matt. He said something about uh, Soviet tanks, but uh, other than that, he didn't really speak. Uh, Peter, Peter, now, <laughs> Peter. Yes, he um, was rather enamoured with conspiracy theories, which I, I didn't feel was, was really fitting with the album, but he, he very much wanted me to know all about um, the lizards that control the world or, or something like that. And while well, Steph just ate me out of house and home, I, I left him in the kitchen and uh, I was back 15 minutes later, the fridge was empty. But, uh, well, what can I say? Curious chaps. Listen, let me put this into perspective for you. I have written songs for Millie Vanilli. I've written songs for S Club 7. I was one of the songwriters, the lead songwriters, in fact, for Barney. Barney the Dinosaur, that is. So, honestly, I'm really rather confident that this will be an absolute hit. Because I have been writing hits for a very long time. Now listen, I have a bowel movement scheduled for 5 o'clock, and that is in a couple of minutes. So I think you need to let me go in peace, because it's going to be a big one. Now, toodles.